Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Trucking Tuesday on my Mr. Goose channel. There it is, the Hot Wheels City Treasure Hunt 5-Pack. It has a Circle Flame logo, right? It has to be a treasure hunt. No, and as I've said many times in my videos, back in 2008, 2007, 2009, all in that area, the designers, they love that logo. They used to use it a lot. It wasn't until 2013 that it became the treasure hunt symbol. I'm going to talk about that later. As a matter of fact, on that note, four out of five of these models have been treasure hunts. That's right. Here on top, you have the Toe Jam, nice six-wheeler, Fandango. This is the 07 Chevy Tahoe, the Dodge Ram truck. And on bottom, that's old number 5.5. I'm going to open up this pack uh, just for a comparison. This model here, it, uh, it has had metal bodies and it has also had plastic bodies. Not only when they made the plastic bodied version did they change it to plastic, but if you look, they gave it a light bar on top of the roof. This one, well, I'll open it so that doesn't matter. This one's Police Pursuit 5 pack. And since I gave it a quick peek, we'll just look at the models. Now, out of these five cars, well, models. Uh, all of only one of them has been a, a treasure hunt. So, if you know which one has been a treasure hunt, please post a comment below. Now, the two in this pack, I'm not going to open it up. I'm just showing it because I wanted to show the plastic Chevy Tahoe. That's Speed Trap and 24/7. Here we have Ford Fusion and the 07 Chevy Tahoe. And on bottom, haven't seen this one in a while either, that's Poison Arrow. You know what else I noticed? This one has the hang tag that pops in and out. Uh, there was an era where they had like a little collector card in here and it's attached to this. I wonder if this uh, is one of those. Let's have a peek. Uh, yeah, sure enough, I can see it right there. Let's see. Hey, <laughs> very good. It's a collector card for the 2007 Track Stars Backdraft. And, and that logo right there, sometimes people ask me, hey, is that a treasure hunting logo? No, it's like a, a loop symbol. Mattel was using that logo to indicate Track Stars. Sometimes you can still find that logo on the bottom of the cars. But uh, if they retool the base, mm, sometimes they get rid of that logo. And what's on the back? Nothing. Uh, it is perforated, so you can like uh, punch it out, but eh. That's all right. Here's old number 5.5. And why did I make this a Truck and Tuesday video? Well, because four out of the five models are trucks. So I thought, hey, let's do this on Truck and Tuesday. How's that? Uh, the Fandango, you know, maybe it's a van. Maybe you can say it's a vehicle that's used to haul things uh, or truck things. So maybe that one might be a fifth too. Now they call this one 5.5. .5. Uh, there was a Hot Wheels old number five, and, and that's what this was. This was a modification of old number five. And if you look, you can see that the changes are a motor. First of all, the biggest thing is see, they didn't have a blown engine coming up out of the hood. So they changed that part. Um, there's other minor changes. Uh, this per this one right here, if you look at the wheels, these are old black walls. So this is uh, this version is probably about 20 years old. I didn't look it up. Now I mentioned that this one was a treasure hunt before. I'll show you the treasure hunt. Give you a look. We'll go ahead and look, take a look at the all the sides so that you can see the comparisons. A little hard to get the angle on this. In the front, they pretty much, uh, oh, they did change it. Look, they gave it headlights out to the side right here. They moved them from here down below. Probably a good idea because when they're up like this, uh, it's easier for this part to get broken off. And let's take a look at the back. And the steering wheel is still there. It's been a while since we've seen this model as well. Here's the treasure hunt version of old number 5.5. 
up on top look how they made a th symbol like that it's not on the model as far as i recall i really enjoyed having the white tires on this release back at this time like a, uh, this there was no circle flame logo they didn't start that till 2013 this is a 2010 release and it was a series so it was the treasure hunts series it's still really a series they just i don't think they really call it a treasure hunt series anymore it's just treasure hunts and they just mix them in with the rest of the cars that's right yeah actually they're parts of other series and here's a look at the back of the package oh before i forget now in 2010 they did have regular this would be considered a regular treasure hunt and they did have super treasure hunts it would be a superized version of the regular treasure hunt as opposed to nowadays well i'll talk about that in a minute now we'll look at the dodge ram truck that was in the five pack this model has also had a treasure hunt version as a matter of fact i think it was the second year i think it was in the 1996 treasure hunt i forget it's in the 90s when this model got to be a treasure hunt i do believe this pops off because they sometimes they use this on vehicles or releases of this model and sometimes they don't this was the treasure hunt I mean, this version was a treasure hunt. If you look, it has rubber tires, but uh, doesn't make doesn't make it a super. They sometimes when they release a treasure hunt, they just they would decide uh, uh, for each treasure hunt they kind of decide. Well, um, this time we'll have the treasure hunt of regular wheels, and then like another month they would have the treasure hunt be regular uh, rubber tires or something. So even even though this one has rubber tires, it doesn't make it a super treasure hunt. Interestingly, if you look at the graphics on the side of this truck, yeah, what logo do you see? It has a circle flame logo. It's a, it's a little burly, blurry, uh, not a good printing job. But look, it was a regular issue. It was printed this way in all the five packs. It's, it's not a treasure hunt. This is one of my favorite releases of this truck. It was uh, for the Dodgers, special commemorative release at a Dodgers game. Went with my, uh, hey, was it Millennium? 2000? Uh, I guess it could have been that long ago. <laughs> Jeez, time flies. There you have your Dodgers Dodge Ram truck. Toe jam, triple axle, six wheeler, plastic base, has working tow hitch. It's in chrome, very nice. Give it a spin. This one was also a treasure hunt and it got the nice special treatment when it was released as a treasure hunt. It did get rubber tires. It also got the TH logo on the roof, TH2000, rubber tires with treads, deep dish chrome rims, toe jam towing toe jam. Hmm, what's next? We'll have a look at the 07 Chevy Tahoe. It does not have a basic or super treasure hunt version. As far as I know, I did some homework. Uh, I don't believe it's been part of any limited series like that. And Fandango, roadkill removal. Basic white paint, got some stripes on the side. This one does have a plastic counterpart. I'll I'm gonna show you a sample that was in a five pack, probably uh, I think it was a Track Stars five pack or Track Builder five pack, something five pack, something like that. Metal body plastic base this version right here metal body plastic base this was not a treasure hunt this i'm just showing you that this one did have a plastic counterpart mm, they might use that in the color shifters i forget i could be mistaken but there's a plastic bodied sample which brings me right back to the circle flame logo there on the roof this is a basic treasure hunt for fandango it was a basic treasure hunt in uh, what year 2016 2015 i forget what year but on top there's the circle flame logo from so from 2013 on basically if the car has a circle flame logo well that's the basic treasure hunt of that case assortment that mix and, and if you don't know for sure if you do a search for like hot wheels list fandango and, you know you can do a search uh, if you do a search for a Hot Wheels mystery machine, you can find out that had a super. Or you can just wait. I'm going to show you in just a moment. 
Now, this not only was, was this a treasure hunt version, but it's also, like I showed you, had a metal body version and it had a plastic body version. But it also has a metal and plastic version. Look, look how they did a casting change. This top part is metal, and then they cut away some of the metal so that they can use cheaper plastic parts right here. So this, this tooling, this model right here, has had three different versions between them. Oh yeah, and the Circle Flame logo on basic treasure hunts. Now what are basic treasure hunts? In the case mixes, there might be a treasure hunt. There might be a super treasure hunt. They're not in every case. They're just randomly inserted. Basic treasure hunts are more common than supers. Basic treasure hunts will have a silver logo behind the car that says, congratulations. This symbol means you just found a collectible treasure hunt car. So it's a regular issue in the assortment, but it's more limited. It might be in a case, it might not, and it's only going to be in that case lot. So here in the USA, in the English cards, we get the case code right there, letter H. So in the H case, Fandango was a basic treasure hunt. Has that behind the car, had the circle flame logo. Basic treasure hunt, not in every case, but in, uh, let's take a look at this one. Super treasure hunt, Scooby-Doo. This was in the B case assortment of 20... 15 or 16, I don't have it memorized. Uh, what they did, whereas this is treasure hunt, you only get that car, that release, that's it, in that assortment, right? No variations, most of the time. Here you have the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine, and this was the basic release. For the super treasure hunts, they take the ba a basic car and they give it, give it a superized treatment. They give it uh, Spectra Flame paint, rubber tires. Most of the time they put a TH on the model. A lot of the times it'll have extra graphics, but I don't see any in this case. Sometimes they'll put like extra graphics on the top. In this case, it only got the same graphics on the side. Did it get a metal base? Mm, nope, but it did get rubber tires and special paint or spectra flame paint sometimes it doesn't look spectra flame that's why i just call it special paint it just dawned on me when they did the change for old number 5.5 they gave it a new name not like fandango or any of that they just changed the casting well this one they changed the casting and they gave it a new name uh i wonder how many times they've done that uh, there's so much to know as far as uh, super treasure hunts, look, I made a very intensive video. Please check that out if you have questions about treasure hunts. All the way back to the first year, 1995. We're coming up on the 20th anniversary. And don't forget, first person to answer which one of these got to be a treasure hunt. I'm going to pin your comment. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.